Hello, my name is Zachariah with Old Man Gaming, and I am here on behalf of WizardChessBike.com. And welcome to another episode of Let's Start With Their Name. This is a show where I take a TTRPG player, and I interview them about a favorite character of theirs, an infamous character of theirs, a character they want to talk about. We spend about 20 to 40 minutes just talking about characters and role-playing games and digressing. And this is going to be a real interesting one, because this dude's memory is as bad as mine, possibly worse. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. And I did forget, but I just remembered. If you watch the video game side of our channel, of the Old Man Gaming <laughs> channel, oh. this man is my co-host and uh, resident torturer for uh, um, uh, for Your old, life? old Man General Manager, where we play <laughs> 2K24 against each other. But he also plays in the garage game with me uh, and has been playing role-playing games for a long time, uh, would you say I got you into role playing games? I feel like I was the 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 catalyst there. I um, can't remember. Yes and no. I did play with Scoot my cousins. a little this cousins. Way. There we go. Oh, First okay. time, yeah. You they, they played D and D. Yeah. But then you know, I they lived in Kent and lived in freaking Garrettsville. So. Right, right, right. But then we eventually got it together yes. in high school, and that's when it really. Engaged. Enga engaged. 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 <laughs> By the way. What? Wizard Respite, you're welcome for your first ever champion on one of your shows. Just want yeah. to make sure they know. Yeah, yeah. Have them know that they're welcome. <laughs> so the, the TTRPG side people, you might not know this because you haven't watched him. He has abused me in 2024 <laughs> to the point where he bought a belt for himself. And he leaves Never it at is. my house in a place where I can see it regularly. It is... Like the amount of money he spent to taunt me, <laughs> was that much? <laughs> All right, so you've got a character in mind, right? Uh, sure. I mean, that is the point of the show. You have oh, to have I know. a character in mind. I know. All right, so as the show goes, let's start with their name. All of them. All of them. It's hard for me to say. I actually do have it narrowed down to one. Because I've played he, a lot of characters. Had, he had weeks. To, to and I thought about character. it a lot. But okay. the problem is, I've never been able to maintain a character. Oh, okay. Why One of my favorites that? was uh, my vampire, Balthazar. Okay. But I kind of lost him, and was like, you know, the consistency just isn't where it was when I first started playing him. Why do you think you can't maintain characters? Um, I don't know. It just depends on the mood I am in the week we play. Do you feel that you don't get attached to the characters much, and then you just want to switch, or no? That's not it. It's more like I lose them, or I have a tendency, a bad habit of not having a goal in mind for said character. Mm. They don't always have a direction to go. All right. Well, why don't we pick one? We could pick Balthazar. We could pick Julius Spartacus Lincoln. I know that's your favorite. I would love <laughs> to talk about Julius Spartacus Lincoln, and we could talk about Catacles, <laughs> and we could talk about the uh, I cannot remember his name for the life of me. But the Strike Force Zero guy. Oh yeah, he's one of the ones I actually feel most disconnected with. Disconnected. Yeah. And you've been playing him for a while. You, well, it's one of those things where there's also Jackson, which is yes. an, an enigma on top of himself with all your weird accent decisions. It's fantastic. No, it's not decisions. He, I do that as practice so that if I ever want to level up my performance, I have oh, reasons. I see. And I, see. I actually, do you ever see the movie um, Killing Gunther? Yes. He's based on it's him. A great movie. Oh, when they okay. always describe him. Oh, he was six foot tall. Oh, he was uh, five foot eight. Right. German accent, American accent. All right. Well, we we have to pick one. Uh, I mean that. If that, I had, I got, I gotta. If I, gotta I had to pick put my foot down here, one, it would be two. I, I, he just cannot follow the rules. No, I play them both. Who? Star Power. Star Power. Loved playing Star Power. Okay. I All never right. fell out of touch with them. If, I, I, had to, to star if power. I had to limit it to I'll one, to it'd be Rodney. Okay. But All he's right. best with Max. It's almost well, like a Joey Chandler show. Let's scenario. focus on mostly Rodney, but we'll do star power together. That That's an interesting one, because this is the first one, because this is one I game mastered. Well, well, let's go to the next question. What game did you play star power in? Tell him about it. God damn, what did we call that? <laughs> It was AEW before AEW. <laughs> nice. That's right. I'm taking full responsibility for AEW. It came from my message board game. <laughs> it was all about the characters. Yeah. The wrestling was a big factor. Obviously, that's how it's you NOW. lost. 
That's what it was. National wow. Organization of Wrestling. And it was a uh, it was a message board game. It was. We did. but you actually had a message board. It wasn't yes. just like a open AOL chat or some shit. No, I get it on Envision Free. It was the it was the message board. I don't think it does. I'm pretty positive it doesn't. I ran a few message board games back in the day, and there was a system. There was actually a stat system. There was. I That's remember. what was nice is the people didn't just decide it or it simulated. Nope. You had to submit a move list to yep. me. For depending on how long the thing was, and then I matched them up. Yeah, so it was kind of like a guessing. (coughs) There was some strategy to it. There was, but it was still it was great, and I didn't care if I won or lost. I just loved playing Max and and uh, Rodney. Okay, so so Max and Rodney. Let's get their backstory. Let's talk about them. Who are they as characters? Because they're wrestlers. This is a wrestling game, guys. Pro wrestling game. Well, to boil it down to the basics, Rodney was uh, based off early Randy Orton. You know, cocky, arrogant. Oh, really? Good talker. Never would have, like... Well, early Randy Orton was not a good talker. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> no. But he had those promos he would cut. That, the fire of the, of the... of the That was phenomenal. I'm talking before that. Remember the old Randy updates? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, a pompous okay. prick yeah, that pompous I hated. Prick, yeah. But he invoked emotion. He did. And then, uh, well, Max was actually kind of based off of um, Silent Bob. Oh, okay. That's All right. why he never really spoke. He, he always just spoke. did facial expressions. We did like a couple of... He had a couple of lines here or there, if I recall correctly. Uh, I like don't know overall. if he ever got any early on. I don't know if he ever got any. Because he was... He was he, they were both very interesting characters. So, just to give you guys a little bit of, of uh, uh, backstory on this. With NOW, the way I did it was I wanted to kind of differentiate it from normal wrestling. And I hate how normal wrestling has like a minor belt and a bigger belt. So what I did was I had just four straight divisions. There was Wildcats, Super Division, North American Division, and the Dual Team Division. Dual Team Division was a team division. Super Division was hardcore. North American was straight wrestling. And then Wildcats, it started as our ladies' division. Yes. But we kind of like advanced out of that because I I always liked it when the... I, I don't like gender... Separation? It's separation in wrestling. I think it's stupid. Uh, it, 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 the whole thing is predetermined anyway. And Rey Mysterio defeated Randy Orton and Kurt Angle to become the World Heavyweight Championship. Just for anybody who doesn't know wrestling, Rey Mysterio stands five foot five and weighs like 20 pounds soaking wet. Like he's Which is ridiculous. possible. It is possible, but like a heavyweight, there's no weight class. Like, like if he can win the heavyweight championship, why do we give a shit about anything else at that point, you know? So, that being said, um, I, I didn't like the gender separation. But it started with separation, but we kind of, like, moved outside of that. Uh, that being said, we're not talking about that part. We're talking about the dual team division. So, in the dual team division, since it was a message board game, you could create a team. Yeah, I don't think I actually had any singles. Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah, you did. You played Ash. You brought Ash back from oh, Super Division. Oh, yeah. You had, the, you had Star Power. I feel like you had one other character, but I can't remember. I know you had Ash. Like yeah, Ash I just forgot was, about Ash. we brought right. him out of retirement for it, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure you are correct. Because we did some really good stuff in that. The whole cast and then kicked Mickey Punk to win the, the, the title, the Super Division title. Because oh he had almost won them all. And then he was going to unite back with Hard Rock. To oh, go for that's right. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. He was almost like a, you know, well, he was based on Sean. Oh, we ran this for, I want to say, like almost two years. I want to say you were. Yeah, NOW went for a long time. For a while. And yeah. it was, what, weekly posts? Yeah. It By, was hard. Or, it twice was a hard. week posts? Yeah. No, it was weekly. It was, was it just, just once weekly? weekly? Okay. But I, what I would do is I would be like, uh, here's the show, here's the card. Get me your. Uh, 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 move sets. You'd submit your move sets to me, and then I'd write the matchup based on the move sets. So it was a lot of writing for me, and eventually, you know, I got a life <laughs> and couldn't do it anymore. Right. When the only thing that we could do was cut the promos, which was fun. Yeah, you got to cut the promos and give me the move set, which I liked because it was like um, it was almost like a video game. I always wanted, you know, you yeah. program a move list and then you hit play and see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I exactly. don't know who's gonna win. I could have won. I could have yeah. lost, and of course, Rodney wins, baby. Ronnie did win. Ronnie didn't win quite a bit. So the backstory, though, we still haven't even gotten to the backstory of the two characters, Max Power and Ronnie Starr. What's their yeah. backstory? Uh, Ronnie was just a cocky, you know, right? Rich kid, grew up getting everything handed to him. Wanted to do wrestling, so he did. Ended up uh, pissing off everyone in the locker rooms, pretty much, because that's what he does. Because right. he was so good and right. arrogant. 
And then you had Max, who came in as his muscle. Quiet. Rodney somehow controlled him. It's one of those things where, like, yeah. how, why does he listen why to him? Does he why is he with him? Yeah. But Max just wanted to be there. And it's just kinda, a very wrestling thing. It, it really is. Yeah. There's always, like, that... There's many tag teams. It's like, here's the mouthy guy. Here's the big guy. Why is the big guy taking orders it, from the mouthy guy? But it, he always is. Like Otis and fucking Kurt Angle Jr. Uh, Chad Gable. Chad Gable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Wardlow and MJF. Yes. From AEW. Yeah. But, There's a lot of them. And they uh, wanted to rule the Federation and show them that they were the best. Yeah. And they, they got they quite really a bit. Good. They did. Well, let's, let's go to the next question. Because we've already digressed quite a bit and spent quite a bit of time on this. It's easy. But it is, it is. That's the whole point of the show, though. <coughs> uh, what was your motivation behind making Star Power? Where did Star Power come from with you? What, what, like, what is the, the character of Star Power to you? Well, Where I, I kind of draw back to that already. We've mm-hmm. kind of talked about that. But, uh, you know, there's just, for me, it was you had both sides of your coin. You had your fun, silly, sexist, stupid side. Which I do well. And then you had the serious <laughs> side. The guy who backs it up. Well, helps back it up. I knew it was pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone ended up starstruck at one point. Yeah. I I think you had quite a few... Quite, quite more success with that character than anybody expected you to. In fairness. I remember the other one. Uh, Darius. Darius? Dairy. Huh? Yeah. Who are we talking about now? Remember Johnny made Des, Des Romenzo? Yes, yes, and yes. And I yes. made Derry as his like, counterpart. I don't remember anything about him, though, <laughs> but I remember the name. But, um, yeah. And uh, Why did you want to play them? Just because you felt like it spoke to your strengths? It spoke, spoke to my strengths, and it could cover both bases of how I was feeling. You know, if I was feeling aggressive, Max could kind of be more in the front, grunting yeah. and punching. And if I was just feeling dumb and silly, which is most of the time, that's when Rodney was there. <laughs> it was okay. easy to reflect those personalities. Yeah. And be able to back it up. Yeah. Because I always hate it when someone can talk good, but they can't always. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on the character for me in wrestling. Like, I've, I've definitely, like, when I was a kid and I watched wrestling, I was much more like, this is the type of character that I like. And everybody else can go to hell. Nowadays, I kind of respect... Everybody in a way, like I was, if you I, do it well, I'm down. Like Dominic, even Dominic who, Mysterio. Yeah, I he does it great. <laughs> I would be my mommy's bedside already. <laughs> Jeremy has a inappropriate love for Rhea Ripley, and she does for me as well. Oh, she does, does not even know your name. She might. <laughs> she doesn't. She's gonna. She is married to Buddy Murphy. She's gonna. Who could literally eat you? She's gonna. <laughs> Real champion right here. All right, so moving on with the interview. Mm-hmm. These the next two are the hard ones and the really fun ones. So, <coughs> star power. What was their moment? Now, the moment can be maybe a match you won, maybe something you did within the system. It could be a cool promo. It could be it could be anything. What was their defining moment as a team in the game? Honestly, to me. Their defining moment, because I really don't remember much of I remember anything. one that I could talk about. Really? But yeah, there's I don't one very specifically. Shit. They won the standing round. They were the last two around. Oh, my God. Do you not remember that? No. Okay, so standing ground was like our Royal Rumble. The way we would do it is it was four people. Which is a cool name, by the way, the yeah, Royal I like Rumble. It. I also like the rules of it better. So instead of like 30 freaking people in the ring and you can't follow the action, it's four people in the ring. When somebody gets pinned, submitted, or disqualified, they leave and are replaced by somebody else. Then it's a random order. So, like, it is pinfall, submission all the way through. Um, and it's a lot more moves, a lot more technically based. It came down, like, halfway through, uh, Rodney and Max got united into the, into the group and ran rough shot all the way till the end. And then they had to wrestle each other. To uh, uh, um, to decide who won and Rodney won, with a starstruck off the top rope to Max. Wow, I'm not even ringing a bell. <laughs> and it's terrible too because it's one of my favorite sets of characters. Yeah, I just remember I enjoyed and I thought his moments best were spoken. You know, oh, yeah. every time he cut promos, it was my favorite was always to the end, and I would you know describe to you like, and Max just gives him one of those. 
what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> type of looks. And it's like, if you have a good imagination or even a decent one, you yeah. understand what that look looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can just kind of see it. I like the, uh, every time I see the promos too, it would be like all this text from Rodney and then you just put like two asterisks and be like, Max looks at him confused. Max <laughs> looks at him angry, yeah. There was a dichotomy. I will say like of all the dual teams that like posted, you were one of the, you were one of the dual teams because almost all the dual teams were one person playing yes. two characters. That's just how it worked. Because we didn't have that many players, no. so you got to play two characters if you played a dual team. Um, and you were your dual team was vi- like you could tell their different personalities. The other dual teams often felt like blended, right? Like this is just two sides of Zach. This is just two sides of Steve or whoever else was playing. You know. Uh, with you, it definitely felt like Max and Rodney were two very different characters. And that that's hard to do when you're one player. And they were meant to be. That's what I loved about them. And you can still see Rodney. Because <laughs> we created him for 2K24. <laughs> yep. If you want to go into old man ga- general manager, this is all just O-M-G-M. a self-plug for uh, old man gaming. All right, final question. Final question, Jerome. This is the big one. This is the one that universally people have had a hard time with. Well, I mean, this is actually oh my God. the big one. Why do I why do I invite you into my house? You didn't, actually. I just came in. <laughs> I mean, I told you come over. <clears throat> if you were a vampire, you have legal precedent. Man, my throat is getting bad. That is not good. Because we are about to do a four-hour recording session. So this is not going to be good. Um, My final question, and final question for everybody that's super hard. What is your biggest regret with Star Power? It could be a system thing. It could be a match loss. It could be something, a a missed opportunity with the role-playing, missed opportunity with the characters, not finishing the characters. Anything, there's no wrong answers. What's your biggest Star Power regret? Uh, that's pretty easy, actually. Oh, setting the trend. Actually, Corey answered pretty fast, too. Not carrying them on. Not carrying them on? Into actually, what? Kept them, everything. Anything. I mean, how would you carry them on, though? You don't have another wrestling role-playing game. You don't need one. <laughs> that's the best part, is you really don't. I mean, there's things that happen. It could be a uh, multiple I don't think Johnny would let you play two characters. No, but he has let me play... Uh, I think it was Max... That I actually turned into a demon. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and then that didn't last too many sessions because we screwed it up and just everybody kind of, meh, you know how it goes. You've seen it. Yes, I've seen it many times. <laughs> um, but Every TTRPGer <laughs> has seen it. Uh, Max wasn't around and I'm... Oh, I think I made Rodney once. Okay. No, I know I made Rodney once, but I think it was the... Serial killer RPG, you know the Halloween one. I think it was before you played oh, it. Oh, the slasher game. The slasher game. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. I can't remember what it's called. I never remember the name of it. I just called it the slasher game. Yeah, I think I that's what we all call it. It's. I know it's called something because he actually owns it. It's a game out there, guys. That it's just it's made to be played like once. You get to make two characters, and then those characters just fucking die. Like, but it's it's all about surviving like a slasher movie. I, I would honestly say that's probably my biggest regret is not keeping them alive together. You know, I should have freaking, I don't even know if that site still exists, but you know, oh, put it out their posts. <laughs> you know, saved them somewhere, but you know. It's hard though, because like you, like those, like wrestling characters, like wrestling game characters are very unique to wrestling. Yeah. Because it's very over the top. It's very you know, flamboyant. It's very, (laughs) like wrestling is at the top of the spectrum, no matter what spectrum you're on. That's one of the things I like about wrestling is you could be like, you're you're supposed to be like Power Rangers in it. You know what I mean? Just like the most emotive. So like, it's hard to maybe take that character and place them into real life situations. It is and it isn't. If you translate it and do it well, take the time, uh, I could easily pop both of them into a world of darkness. That's true. They could both be hunters. Hell, they could be vampires. Especially with the rest of the players and how fucking loony they are. <laughs> like, it's not like... Like, if you were playing, like, a straight World of Darkness session with a bunch of normals... See, and sure, that's my problem. But, like, you've got all sorts of stuff going on in uh, that World of Darkness. Before we do end this, I would like to give shout-outs to, obviously, Balthazar. 
Still yes. one of my favorites, but I, I just kind of well, lost his character and motivation. It doesn't help that we lost the person I was motivated against, but... Well, I will tell you right now, every everybody who's been on this show, I'm planning on having back to, to talk about more characters. So you can come on and talk about Bathazar the next time you come on. Or Julius Spartacus Lincoln. Fuck them, I'm talking about I cannot now. believe Julius he did not talk about Julius Spartacus Lincoln. It is every... I was that so was hoping... That character that just... It doesn't matter. His name is Julius Spartacus Lincoln, and you were like captain <laughs> of a was spaceship. Captain of a spaceship and crew, and most successful captain. Everybody hated him. They still do. Every- still <laughs> do. And you know what? He's out there. He he, he will return. <laughs> uh, honestly, one of the JSL best, baby. One of the best things that Aslium did was. Yeah. Um, because my characters still had no depth when I created them. Uh-huh. And I was like, yeah, it's cool. I was, you're going to love this. You know where I got the name Julius Spartacus Lincoln? Where? <laughs> you remember the old Kevin Costner movie? Uh, Postmaster or whatever. The Postman? The Postman. Yeah. It was based off that. You remember the young kid he runs across, Henry Ford Lincoln? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Only this it's will like, be. Who was named like that in that? <laughs> oh, yeah, the four hour post apocalyptic epic of I'm Kevin Costner. Michael Chick. No, what was his name? Who? The guy from uh, um... Armageddon. Armageddon, yeah. Why don't we just disarm the bomb? Yes. Hey, the bomb's still going. Just How about we disarm the bomb, we put the gun down, we talk about it? That's this. the one. He's great. I forget his name. He was Chick in. Chick. In Armageddon. Yes. I can't remember the actor's really name, but he was. He was but the, I like him. He was arguably the best part of Armageddon, without a doubt. Like. There's actually a lot of Kevin Costner movies. Like, it's, it's, it's the bomb's going. Why you gotta go? Why you bring a gun out of spaceship, uh, man? <laughs> <laughs> Who brings a gun? Who brings a gun out of spaceship? Well, we put the gun down, we And talk there's, about of course, Catacles, who's on his rise, who does Catacles. have a last name now. Yes. It will be revealed later. Catacles. Catacles Mundus. These are all... These are I all, am the land! These are all characters that Jeremy has. And Jeremy has some infamous characters. And I don't mean famous. I mean <laughs> infamous characters. Catacles... I was talking about Catacles last night. Because Jeremy took the system and was like, how do I make the most fucking insane statistical character ever? So instead of putting anything into his skills at all... There is, you can put experience points for health. So he's got like, what, 100 health points or something? 103. <laughs> Number one, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. That's just my extra XP. He's going to be built up. If I can get him up. You know, you could still die if you take 10 damage. Like, if I can get him up in conditioning, which improves my soak, that's, that's going to blow the shit out of my death save, so that 103 life will actually come in handy. Trying to be a. Trying to be a Rocky Balboa. And right now, actually, bleed effects would be fine for me. That's true. Bleed effects, you got no problem. <clears throat> the death saves that still scare me. But I have other <laughs> things to help take care of that means twice. This is, this, J- Jeremy is a chaos goblin. I, not as much there. anymore. I try to let other people be chaos goblins, but then it gets boring. <laughs> so he becomes a chaos goblin. Slowly. <laughs> oh, I got, I have so many plans I've thought out for my um, Hitman. Oh, Jackson. 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 Are we going to go back to that? I yeah, don't know. Like I'm assuming. We had that big thing happen, and then we haven't touched it for like two months. Well, it's because we had the, uh, the mothership. Mothership. Yeah. Hell and then, man. you know, why pick it up just to set it down? Yeah. So probably next time, instead of doing the arena, Mundus. We'll get into Back in the wad, and at least finish out probably what we got, and then change it up maybe later I on. I will say two wad games is a little much. It's starting to wear on me a little bit. I love both the characters and I want to play them, but I would definitely I like would to love have for you like to finish two. one. Of them. What? I'm interested in your storyline for the original, and then I'm interested in see what happens with Bomani and Jack. I'm proud of the characters. I'm proud of the characters and Wad that I've um, created. It was rough. It seemed like you wanted Zeke to die at one point. No, I don't want Zeke. To like die. you just kind of like fuck it. I'm going in. No, I just here's the thing. We can't do this on the show. No, we can't. We, get, we're no, we, we uh, digressed and nobody knows what we're talking about. We're and just I'm inside sorry for any other characters like, that I've had that I've forgotten, but I would also like to pay praise to one other one, which was sure. a World of Darkness character, a vampire. The first time I ever played a vampire correctly, he was a southern truck driver. Oh, that's awesome. Who ended up dying because I was dumb. Wow. I had my strength pumped through the roof. I was held in place by another... I don't remember, it was a werewolf or another vampire okay. who had, you know, I was beaten up fairly well. 
like basically one more point of damage, and this would have been aggravated damage, which killed me. Oh. He had a claw right in my eye. My back was against a wall. Drywall. My strength was pumped through the Oh, you could have just gone right back through the drywall. That's literally all I had to do. Instead, I did something else dumb that got me killed. That's the same thing as my character dying in Mothership because I didn't ask for the roll. So, it happens. I just didn't think about it. It happens, yeah. I I thought thought me going into a room and going, going, is there any way to turn (laughs) him off would be like, make a roll. But he did not. So I was like, I'd crush it. It's like, oh, you could have asked for the roll. All right. (laughs) (laughs) But it's fair. That's part of that game, though. I mean, in fairness, there w- I've said it multiple times, there's precedent for it. He had been making P- us ask for roles the entire session. So it wasn't like he did anything wrong. It's just for me and my brain, I went in and I was like, how do I turn this off? And he was like, you don't necessarily see a button. And to me, I was like, okay, if there I don't see no. a button, he would have given me a role right here. But I, we had ask. all been asking for roles. Yeah. It was just my... Like, I was in the same habits, you know? Well, I mean, uh, just real quick to end the show. Sure. That you can talk about later. Yeah. Who's been your favorite character to play though so far? Oh, man, everybody keeps doing this to me. Of course we do. I don't know that I have a favorite character. I've played a lot of characters. And I, All right. I'm i a little bit pretentious Most about role-playing Most recent, since coming back to the garage. Oh, since coming back. So, mo- Narrow it. favorite garage game. Yes, character. that's including the one-offs. Like, I know you liked your Billy Idol guy that we played in the Slasher one. He know. wasn't Billy Idol, he was Hans. Because remember, he was like East German? No, 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 no. Was he? Oh, no, the first guy was Billy yeah. Idol. I couldn't do I I flubbed his accent, it made me mad. <laughs> the Hans guy, like, I nailed the accent the entire time. She took my love and she took it down. <laughs> and I saw my reflection. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I think I've told this story before on here, but basically it's a slasher game. You just try out characters. I played a character who talks like Flula Borg. Look him up if you don't know who it is. But he was like a traveling guitarist. Yep. So, But we were hunted by a werewolf. Yep. And for whatever reason, the first time the werewolf came eye to eye to him, his th- first thought was, I'm going to try and sing to it. And you rolled like a god. I rolled like a god every time I did this. So every time the werewolf would show up, I would just start awkwardly singing to it but I'm still scared so it would just be like I would just have uh, when a problem comes along you must whip it <laughs> whip it God like that kind of stuff and uh, <coughs> I did I did have a lot of fun with him I don't know my favorite though God, that's hard that's hard my favorite's probably Zeke and there's, there's quite a few really yeah I, I, I would say I would say the one I'm most proud of is Bomani Bomani is a Egyptian vampire street gang leader, like who is just a terrible person. I would never be like Bomani, and that's why I'm proud of Bomani. Is I'm playing a character who is not me, whereas Zeke is me. Like I, I wanted to discover World of Darkness kind of through my own eyes, so I created a character that's basically me, just a little bit older and more haggard. Honestly, I think the best fluidity you have is with Bomani. Like he has clear purpose. Yeah. Clear goals. Yeah. Instead of just having shit thrown at him and see what sticks. Well, and that's the thing. I think that's the other thing with Zeke that I was talking about. It wasn't that he wants to die. He wants to resolve the situations or die trying. He's an old guy. He's got nothing to lose. Like, his daughter's moved out. She's doing good on her own. His wife is dead. He needs to fix the problems or die trying. So it's not that he's trying to die. It's that he's trying to solve it. The other thing is, and I'm going to say this. And this is a hot take on the Garage Game. And I don't know who from the Garage Game is going to listen to this. We'll find but out. Say it. there are too many of those guys. And, and I mean this with all due respect, guys. Maybe Talladega Nights way, but all due respect. You're too fucking afraid to lose your characters. You're too fucking afraid of death. You're too fucking afraid of it. It is a role-playing game. You're trying to tell a story. You're not necessarily trying to survive. You're trying to tell a story. Especially you know who. I'm not talking about... This side of the table, your other, uh, your other river mate. Oh, way too afraid of dying. He do- He never plays. He's a good role player, but he I just think, constantly hides. I the think entire he just time. loses his mind with every character. He spends the entire time running and hiding. What are you getting out of the role playing game session? What? I think that's more on him than it is the character. Though. Well, and that's fair. And I don't think like, he's avoiding. If you really want to ex, if you really want to explore the character. You need to get in there. And I want Zeke, I would rather Zeke explore the character and explore the space and die than 
not. And actually, like, think, he's not suicidal. I actually think the youngest one is way more afraid to die. Oh, he is. He is. I, I'm not. I'm not letting him off. I am afraid. And but honestly, the youngest one has a lot to learn on the role playing front. I think if you make a character well enough, Johnny is the type of GM that will. That's the other thing. Around. That's the other thing that the rest of the table haven't figured out is that Johnny will give a lot more to people he's having fun with. Yes. And if you if you create a character that's taking the risks. And making the storyline for him, making it easier for him, they're more likely to survive. I have noticed this. Even Balthazar. He's died once. Usually death is death. Yeah. He he comes, back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That And that's that's not even like a shot at John. It's every game master. You make a game master, you make it more interesting for a game master, they're going to be more likely to want you to survive. Yes. You know... I, I, I just recently I just recently and we need to end this and we keep digressing, but like I just recently interviewed Mark, Mark Bell. I, oh, I yeah. think you met him once. Uh Mark. about his badass metal character back in the day. And uh Badass Metal was this mecha game we played for like twenty oh, years. One, yeah. um, but when I first made it I was twenty, I was angry, and I just wanted to kill characters. Like plus I lived really far away from everybody who I played with, so it would be like once a month, who knows who's showing up, you know? And so it was like, if you died, whatever. His character, survi- his character survived a bunch of death checks. But honestly, his character also was always pushing a storyline. Like, it was always pushing the storyline forward. An Imperium Civil War. Then a Holy Interstellar Kingdom Civil War. He was always pushing a storyline mm. so that I could create a storyline around it. It definitely made me want to have him survive more, you know? And I think that, like, at the end of the day... Like, you should be trying to make a story. Like, that's what we should be doing. Like, and I, I get a little pretentious when it comes to role-playing because I really take it like an art form. And like, for Kind of me, is. It is, but like, for me, it's not about, like, winning the game. It's about, how do I make this really interesting for everybody sitting at the table? Telling a story and then seeing what they do with it and yeah. then... Hopefully getting another story. And yeah, yeah. Another and then another. And that's why I make the characters that I make that often are at odds with you guys because it creates some of the best stories like Shotgun, you know, Bomani. That was actually right. supposed to be my Strike Force character, but that got kiboshed because everybody died. What? I was I made a character to screw over the group. <laughs> he was literally sent from Strike Force to find out as much as he could about supernaturals from Supernaturals. Oh and I just hey, how are you guys doing? Oh yeah, you're a vampire. Oh, okay. And they, oh, kept, they kept giving it. I didn't I even see. ask him at some point. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> but then, right, we got to end this. We're so digressed. Ooh, we will, we one will... more shout out. Two more shout outs. Oh my God. Gash and myself. Gash. Gash. Gash! That is one you could have picked. That's another game. Man, I really don't. I didn't play well with him. I want to remake Hybrid. I want to oh. remake it. Definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of remaking Badass Metal. So like... Hybrid is definitely that one. one that I want to remake. What? See, that's the one I remember. Hybrid? Yeah, well, when you would gather like once a month with everybody from Cleveland Heights. Because we got you in. Yeah. You were in late. Like, late. Like, you were like halfway through. You were the Trunks character. Yep. Because you came back from well, the future, I was if I the, correctly. I actually don't remember. It was, I was the, the alternate dimension. I was the Krillin Trunks, because I was straight human. Yeah, and you weren't like the child of somebody, but you came yeah. over because Evil Gachara came over. Yes. Yeah, it was... Yes, yes. We're, we're getting into inside baseball. These people so, don't know what we're talking about. It was a DBZ role-playing game. Yeah, for future. For future. We will have you on again. But better. We will talk about these characters. Uh, and I wanted to say thank you. Do you have anything you would like to plug? Um... Nope, I'm good. Just reach over the belt. All right, guys. No, uh, if you do want to see Grandpa Gamer, I have the belt. Uh, torture me in video games. Uh, and we fire play, his champion. We play Old Man Gaming. Uh, old Man General Manager. Uh, every Thursday, it is us booking against each other in 2K24. We're actually about to record a session of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it is a lot of fun, even as much as I hate losing to you. It is a lot of fun. Um, but um, so check that out. Uh, other than that, this has been on behalf of Wizards Rest Bite. You can check out everything TTRPG on WizardsRestBite.com. He has shirts, merchandise. He has great TTRPG stories that deep dive into statistics as well as reviews. Check it out, and you can see every one of our actual plays and live plays for 
uh, for Old Man Gaming there, uh, as well as here. Nice. Uh, other than that, uh, you guys can reach me personally at Facebook uh, at Old Man Gaming uh, DH. At Old Man Gaming DH, you can also reach me on X at Old Man Gaming Nine. You can reach me on Blue Sky, but the uh, the addresses are fucking nuts there, so I couldn't possibly say them. <laughs> Just look for Axiom Games LLC Just there. Just search it. And then uh, finally, you can join our Discord in the link below and influence this and all of our shows from there. And if you're a TTRPG person with a TTRPG character that I haven't interviewed, please get on Discord, message me. I want to interview. Uh, other than that, we'll see you guys in the next character. And with that. We got two words for you. Game on. Game on. I like that. I like that.